I always find the last verse from today's gospel kind of funny because it's one of those things that in seminary many times we forget that it's a bunch of guys that get together that are all praying together to try and figure out what their vocation is and turns into a like a catholic frat house and there's this saying that always comes up with the new guys that come in every single time and they say these hands they were made for chalices not for calluses to which i'm like have you been a pastor no calluses you're not doing your job right And that's kind of the irony of this whole gospel, if we look at it. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, the sons of thunder, come to Jesus and want to be recognized as the most important in creation. Because to sit at the left and right of Jesus, that's what you're really trying to say. I am more important than anyone, more important than your mother who conceived you, more important than your father, stepfather, more important than anyone else in creation, We want to be at your left and at your right. Which I can just see if Jesus was in our day, he would pretty much say to them, all right, slow your roll. Know your place, cut it out. But no, he doesn't say that. Why? Because Christ knows our hearts and knows what we need to hear. We hear many times in Scripture, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. That's one of the things that Christ was telling them. That to truly be a leader... You have to be humbled in the sight of God. You have to put everything in front of you. I've spoken before about the litany of humility that I was in a group that prayed every Friday morning. It's one of the most terrifying litanies I will ever pray in. I have to be in the right state of mind to be able to pray it. Because in the litany of humility, you don't only prefer that others are regarded higher than you, you pray that every person in creation is regarded higher than you. I struggle with that in my family sometimes. That's only the six of us, seven of us. But we are called to humble ourselves before everyone, to be the slave and servant of all. In fact, when Jesus referenced to James and John the cup that they would receive and the baptism with which they would be baptized, what he was really saying is, can you receive this same cup, that same cup that Jesus offers to his father in the Garden of Gethsemane? Where Christ, in agony, says, Lord, if it be your will, take this cup from my lips. But if not, thy will, not my will be done. The cup of salvation, the cup of sacrifice. And what does Jesus say to them? You will drink from the same cup. You will sacrifice your life, not for yourself, but for me. And then the baptism. What is the baptism that Christ is referencing in today's gospel? Is he talking about being baptized in the Jordan as he was? No. He's talking about the baptism of death. They, they lifted up and offered their lives for their sheep, as any good shepherd should. That in the roles of James and John in today's gospel, we're shown the role of a Christian. We all have this universal call to holiness, but something keeps us back, mainly sin, but sometimes pride, ego, envy, jealousy, that need to be affirmed, those things hold us back as well. But the Lord is telling us what is important, and he continues to show and open it up to us, but many times we don't quite get it. So he tells us stories, he tells us parables Because with stories, we begin to understand messages. That's why I watch so much TV and so many movies, or at least that's my excuse, that I learn through story, as the people in Jesus' time did. Why do so many cathedrals throughout the world have such beautiful artwork? Because it was meant to teach a lesson, as the parables are meant to teach a lesson. As everything from Christ is calling us to be more. But what's interesting is Jesus says you are to be the servant and slave of all. Let's fast forward in the gospel. What does Christ say to them before he is sacrificed? I no longer call you servant. I call you friend. That when we sacrifice all, when we become the servant to the truth, he who is the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ, then and only then can we truly share in the friendship of Christ. When we receive the cup of sacrifice, 
When we take on the banner of martyrdom, we are living a life of holiness. That is our call, my brothers and sisters, to put nothing before the love of God, but everything before the love of self. May we witness to that, may we live it, may we embrace it, and may we share it.